I'm Jill Ferris. This is Cooking for Bachelors, and I have one inside. So I'm gonna make him a special breakfast because we all know a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. We already know I did okay in there. Let's see if I could do okay out here. I'm gonna make my favorite breakfast to make is shakshuka. Shakshuka is the Middle Eastern dish, mostly from Morocco. It's like huevos rancheros. So we're going to start with olive oil and garlic like everything, like almost everything I cook does. Okay, I'm just gonna cover that, and while that's heating up, I'll cut up some other ingredients. I'm gonna use some onions and some jalapenos. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a tomato base and then cook our eggs right in it. It's gonna be a little hot, as it already has been. <laughs> and let's see if we could surprise my guest. I love jalapenos. I like them when it's tomato sauce. Not too hot. Don't want to burn his tongue. Get the seeds out. Not only are they hot, they're disturbing to eat. And very thin slices. We're going to add this to our oil. Not quite hot enough, but as the oil starts cooking, everything will start cooking. So it's really okay if the oil isn't all the way heated through. I'm gonna leave it partially open so that it doesn't get soggy. I think I might add the rest of the pepper. So this uh, dish has its origins in many countries, but I was introduced to it in Israel. And as you know, huevos rancheros is a Tex-Mex dish as well. So there's many uh, variations of the theme here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it with a cinnamon toast, which is gonna counteract the heat with something sweet. Most people serve it with a pita or other sort of bread. Okay, oil's beginning to heat. That's gonna be nice. Now we're gonna take some canned tomatoes and I'm gonna squish them in my hands to break them apart. These are um, Italian brand canned tomatoes, which I prefer to American brand canned tomatoes. The difference is, is that they don't have calcium chloride, meaning like an extra salt added to it. So they're much more um, mushy, pliable, easy to squish apart with your hands. If you sometimes have the ones with calcium chloride, they're too stiff and hard and you actually have to chop them and you can't just mush them apart. So this is a, this is a fun process very tactile. And you can cut it, you can put it on a plate and cut it with a knife, but you can also sque just squeeze it like this. I've done this before in the Pomodoro video. And this is the way you would start any tomato sauce. I mean, that has the spices in it, it has the jalapeno, so you might not use it for Italian food. I'm gonna also use a little tomato paste, so I'm gonna open that can and get it ready. You know, I usually keep parsley in the refrigerator in a glass or a bowl like this so that it really stays fresh that way. Otherwise, it will dry out. If you don't have room in your refrigerator, I'm sure you do. You're a bachelor. You hardly have anything in there anyway. So you have enough to have parsley. Parsley is such a great food. It's really high in vitamin C. And it's good to eat just as is. But that's the food I always eat when I'm in the supermarket. I always grab the parsley. It's nice and fresh. It's actually a breath freshener. I like it as an ingredient in salads, not just a garnish. Put some of that in there. Let that cook down a little before we add paste. And we'll put a little basil in also. Um, this is, basil is a very fragile herb, so it's not easy to keep for a long time unless you have a plant. That's why people have basil plants, and that's the freshest way to get it. A lot of times it wilts very quickly. You want to keep basil dry. It's interesting, some herbs you want to keep dry, some you want to wrap with a wet paper towel and keep in plastic. Um, 
There's a whole list. Maybe I'll put one as a download. Have you seen my downloads, by the way? Shopping lists, things to keep in your house all the time, the utensils you really need. Those are all downloads on the website, so please go and download those. So a lot of people say they're confused when they go shopping. They don't know what they should have. This is looking delicious. I love when the olive oil is separated from the tomato sauce. It just makes it another ingredient, another delicious flavor. Put some salt and pepper. Mmm. Nice. Nice fresh down pepper. Oh, this is smelling lovely. Mmm. I think I'm only going to put two teaspoons. Keeping. And then blend that. You could use a smaller pan. I like to use this pan because I like the way it cooks and I like the way it heats through. You can do this in a, a seven inch pan or even in a small saucepan. Okay, I'm just gonna cover that for a few minutes and this is just perfect. Oh, mm, I could smell jalapenos. I could smell the tomato. Everything's going just nicely. Oh, this is wonderful. Wonderfully romantic. If he likes it. Okay, now we're going to flatten it out. What we're going to do is we're going to cook some eggs in it. You just break it and carefully put it in. And this is going to actually cook right in the sauce. I'll make some for me too. And with a pot like this, you can make four eggs. If you have a smaller pot, it might be a little harder, it might be crowded. You don't want to crowd your pot with the eggs, otherwise it's going to be an egg layer. Okay. Now I'm going to cover it so that the egg cooks on top as well. We're just going to wait a few minutes for that to cook, and we'll be ready to serve. Okay, so how do you know it's ready? You just tap the egg a little and see that it's not too wobbly. Then you know it's cooked through. And you just scoop it up, the sauce and the egg, together. You can put a little extra sauce on if you want. I think he's gonna like it. Take the cinnamon toast and just cut it in slices so it's easy to eat. Too, right? Oh, I think I have some Paseca left over from last night. Hope it's still bubbly. Sounds like it. Well, looks like somebody's going to get lucky again. <laughs>